Now shifting focus to the U.S. migrant crisis and as the crisis escalates, the Republicans have rallied against the Biden administration's handling of the situation. They've demanded a government crackdown to choke the flow of migrants to the country's borders. In the latest, the Republicans have warned of, the, of starving the federal government of funds and if President Joe Biden fails to get to the core of the migrant crisis. The warning by Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mike Johnson, comes on the heels of his visit to the affected borders. And the Speaker, along with 60 Republicans, visited the U.S.-Mexico border to build pressure on the Biden administration. Now, braving icy climate conditions, navigating through a barbed wire fence, migrants from Mexico waded through the Rio Bravo River to surrender to U.S. authorities. And they're now seeking entry into the country. And people carried their bags and even children on their shoulders to cross the river while they were also seen negotiating with officers near the fence. And in one instance, migrants were seen climbing over barbed wire and rushing towards the border wall. Hundreds of migrants tried to cross the barbed wire. Following the events, additional barbed wire was also installed along the riverbank. Now, a large number of migrants are continuing their perilous journey to the United States via Mexico. And many people making the trek are living under tough conditions. The number of migrant encounters in the southwestern United States hit record numbers just last month. And as we enter another year, mass migration continues to be a key challenge for the United States. And according to reports, U.S. border agents registered more than 300,000 encounters with undocumented migrants only in December 2023, which viewers is the highest monthly total since records began. Now, despite these risks and perils that accompany them, many are still prepared to undertake the journey, even if it's dangerous and uncertain, road north in pursuit of a better life in the United States. And our correspondent Susan Tehrani gets you more on this and gets you a detailed report. In fact, take a look at what she has to say. The visit to the southern border by the House Speaker and scores of Republicans come as the GOP is putting increased pressure on the Biden administration for stricter immigration and border policies. Republicans and Democrats remain divided on how serious the border crisis really is. GOP lawmakers are going into the 2024 presidential elections with a focus on the border. And that's because in a recent surveys when Republican voters were asked how serious the issue of the border crisis is. They said it was very serious and they wanted to see the next administration in the White House put a focus on the border and illegal migration, while the Democrats responded in the same survey, saying that they hoped the GOP would reach across the aisle and work on inflation and the economy. One area that both Democratic and Republican voters agreed on was to allocate more resources to the U.S. southern border with Mexico, like increasing the number of border agents. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World is One.